What's up guys, welcome back to the First Take Fantasy YouTube channel. So today we're talking about one of my absolute favorite players in the NFL. And yes, I told you about Jonathan Taylor, I think he can be special. I told you about Rojo, Zach Moss, DJ Chark, those guys are going to be pretty good. But this guy, I know for a fact, I know in my heart, I feel this, I have the gut feeling and I have the tape to back it up. He's going to be that dude in the NFL for years to come. And that's Washington Redskins wide receiver Terry McLaurin. So we're going to take a look at his film, and you'll see why this dude is special, and you need to get him on your fantasy teams for now and forever. He's going to be that guy. Who is Terry McLaurin? He was a third-round pick coming out of Ohio State. He didn't really do much while he was at Ohio State, statistically speaking, but he was a freak athlete, and the thing I love the most about him is he's widely regarded as one of the best leaders to ever walk through that football program, and that says a lot about the guy Terry McLaurin is, on and off the field so he's always focused and he's always pushing his teammates to do better while i don't know how much that benefits from a player standpoint i definitely can get behind a guy that i believe in his principles and morals and the way he carries himself this right here is Terry McLaurin's second career catch what does he do against a division rival he turns on the jets he goes for 69 yards breakaway touchdown this is the kind of guy McLaurin is he's a big play guy not belittling any other facets of his game but he definitely thrives in this category he can separate and he is fast this is still McLaurin's first career game third and four Case Keenum needs a guy to just go up and get the ball and who does he go to Terry McLaurin this is a rookie who's supposedly a speedster that is just a big play guy but he's making these kinds of contested catches down the field against a division rival I mean this is just so impressive, not just the play itself, although it is an amazing catch, the trust that the quarterback had in week one of McLaurin's rookie year to make this throw to him, I love it. McLaurin gets Pro Bowl corner Byron Jones to turn his back to the quarterback, and at that point McLaurin won the route, then it's just on him to do what he does, which is turn very late in order for McLaurin to be the only one that's able to make a play on the football. Getting the cornerback to completely turn his back to the quarterback is very hard to do for veterans, and McLaurin did this in year one in his second game against a pro bowler. Stud. Here McLaurin does two things very well, and it leads to him scoring a touchdown. He sees the cushion on the corner, and he attacks the inside shoulder and eventually gets the corner biting on an inside route. But the way he really wins on this route is not by his speed or his release. It's by the fact that he sees the corner behind him, he stacks on top, and he does a slight head fake to the right, and then comes back out to the left in order to create that separation, and that's eventually what leads to him scoring the touchdown. Here McLaurin runs the fake screen to perfection, he stutter steps at the safety and that freezes up the corner just enough for him to be able to really turn on the Jets and get down the field and give Keenum a very big space to throw this deep ball. It's a shame McLaurin stumbles out of the release because he does a textbook release, he creates separation right off the line and then it's just straight line speed and then cut it to the outside and make a great over the shoulder catch to get the first down. Here McLaurin is matched up with superstar cornerback Tredavious White and he's an off coverage so what McLaurin does is immediately attacks the cushion that White is giving him in order to get White to start moving back a little bit and start backpedaling and think he's running a go route and then he does a quick speed out to the outside and what I love most is he gets to the first down. He makes sure that if he's going to make and run such a good route he's going to do it for the first down and he does that helps his team continue the drive. You love to see that from a young receiver already matching up against the league's best. Here McLaurin's matched up with Jair Alexander and what he does he attacks Jair Alexander's inside shoulder and once he has him turning his hips he jabs to the right and comes back inside so McLaurin if it's one on one he won the route against Alexander but there is a safety so Haskins really has to make a really tight window throw and it's not the best throw but McLaurin he's just a playmaker he goes up he gets the ball and makes his quarterbacks look good this is what superstars do and McLaurin is making these plays pretty routinely. You want to talk about superstar plays, McLaurin does the definition of a superstar play here. It's a pretty good covered play, Marcus May is in great position to make the interception. Haskins floats it up, it's a 50-50 ball, and Terry McLaurin says, I'm the alpha, give me the ball, I'm coming down with it, and that's exactly what he does. I feel bad for Marcus May because he did a great job, but McLaurin is just better. We'll watch this one more time because McLaurin is just such a good playmaker and he makes these contested catches at the same rate Allen Robinson, Stephon Diggs, Kenny Galladay, all these great receivers do and McLaurin actually led the league in contested catch rate. 19 contested catch targets, 13 contested catches. That's a really good sign moving forward for a guy who's just supposed to be a speedster. 
Here McLaurin's matched up in the slot against zone coverage with Luke Keekley and the safeties. And what he does here is pretty much just get a good first down. It's your routine first down, but there's so much more that he does that veterans struggle to do. And what he does is he runs past Luke Keekley, and once he has him beat, he does a stutter step to freeze up Keekley and the safety. And then he creates a window for Haskins to throw the football. And when he does catch the football, he even gets upended and he's horizontal to the ground, but it doesn't matter because he has sure hands and he holds on to the ball. Here McLaurin runs a slant route, has the awareness to make the first man miss, and then accelerates and uses his 4-3-4 speed to go straight to the end zone, 75-yard touchdown. Great receivers make slants and can turn them into great plays, and that's exactly what Terry McLaurin does, and something that Odo Beckham has done multiple times throughout his career. That ability to catch the slant route and then accelerate and turn it into something special is something very few receivers have, and McLaurin shows you here that he can do that. This right here is what true number one receivers do. Third down, need a first down, division rival, throw the ball to Terry McLaurin, he's gonna get the ball, high points it, has the awareness to toe tap and get the first down right in front of the referee. This is truly special from McLaurin. When I see McLaurin on tape, I, I see a star. It's This guy does not lack in many areas. He's great hands, great contested catchability, great route running, great, abil great speed, great ability to separate. And what I like the most about him is his football IQ. I mean, this guy, he understands the nuance of the football position at a level that I have never seen from a rookie before. I mean, getting to the first down marker, toe tapping out the sidelines, being out of bounds, understanding how to stop and start against zone defenses in order to create a window for your quarterback, leveraging yourself and stacking against man coverage. I mean, what you want it, you got it with McLaurin. He can do everything you want from the wide receiver position, and he has all the makings of a true number one receiver in the NFL. And with Dwayne Haskins needing to improve, I think his best bet is targeting Terry McLaurin. He makes throws easy for his quarterbacks, just regardless of the coverage. We saw it with Tredavious White, Jair Alexander. I mean, he can do it against the best of the best in the league, and that's something you really want to see for year one, and that's what we saw from McLaurin. So I think... With the preconceived notion that the Washington Redskins are a run-first team and Bill Callahan's going to be running the ball up and down the field, that's not the case. Scott Turner's the offensive coordinator, Bill Callahan's in Cleveland. They're going to throw the ball, and they're going to throw the ball a lot to Terry McLaurin. So this guy, whether it's redraft, dynasty, whatever you're doing, if you just want to buy a guy's jersey, McLaurin is one of the best bets to invest in in the future because he is going to be a star in the league. It's just a matter of how much he gets the ball. And with Scott Turner as offensive coordinator and literally no one else to catch passes in Washington, you can bet on McLaurin getting over 130 targets this year. He's going to blow up 1,000-yard season. I expect him to be a pro bowler multiple times throughout his career. He is going to be really good, and you want to invest in him before everybody else does. So if you have the chance, get McLaurin on your teams. If you guys like this video and want more content, please do three things for me. I want you to like this video, comment who you want to go into the FTF film room next, and make sure you hit that subscribe button.